few years ago when we sent our girl Stella to study medicine in Japan. However, one May day, she came back with a baby and a four foot man to the airport. Seeing that we are yet to recover from this, Tina has taken it upon herself to apologize. And as any good in law would do, they come bearing gifts, namely the China Square. Yes. If you're new here, I am Liliti, and here we talk about money and general lifestyle issues. Kindly consider subscribing, hitting the notification button, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to this channel. The takeaways in this video will be who owns China Square? Where is it? located when was it set up why did they set it up how much do they sell in a day and what is the government perspective about china square so to the first question i'm sure all the girls are dying to know who owns china square china square is owned by one sheng li aka charlie and believe you me i did not name him charlie he is aka charlie that is He's going by Charlie this day, so when you come to Kenya, you do as the Kenyans do, and you get a name that we can pronounce. When was it set up? So China Square, I know most of us are just hearing about it. About, by the way, if you do not know what China Square is, this is like this is the latest trend. Like it's a what kind? Of, is it a, a shop or? A, it sells household goods, like it sells everything. Like the going word for China Square is that they sell everything apart from water and food. So whatever you need, it's at China Square and it is a very, at very fair prices, mostly for the decor items. There are things that they are very expensive in, but I am sure when you have started shopping at the decor section, you will not notice the higher prices in, in other things. So. It is a shop in Kenya that sells goods, household goods, home and improvement goods at a very reasonable, a very cheap prices. Now that we are up to date, let's go back to when it was set up. It was set up back on 29th of January this year. So this is barely a month ago and you won't believe the hype that this store is less than a month old in Kenya. 29th of January. That is when it was set up. Where is it located? It is located at Alumni City Mall at the Kenyatta University. So now that you are up to date with that, it is owned by Shen Li, aka Tali, located at uh, Unicity at Kenyatta University. And it was set up on 29th January 2023. Barely a month old. Believe it or not, with all this hype, less than a month old. So, more importantly, why was it set up? So, Charlie, Charlie, according to, to Charlie, he seeks to break monopolies by providing basic goods at fair prices. He noted that prices of goods were very expensive in Kenya, and these are goods that could have easily cost way less. So, he opted to open it and to break the monopoly in the current market. So the reason for setting it up was to break monopolies by offering fair prices for basic goods. Number five, how much do they sell on a, on a, in a day? So on the second week of trading, they hit 20 million sales. They sold goods worth 20 million. Going forward, they're selling goods worth 10 million, wait for it, on a bad day. On a bad day, they are selling 10 million. So if you have not seen the people fighting at the aisles or at the teller when they are being attended to, you can understand now. This is why they are fighting because there are so many people to be attended to because to make sales worth 10 million in a day, then you need to attend to lots and lots of customers. That is also why the parking is packed all the time. Again. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Hit like and comment on the comment section if you are one of those people fighting there or if you have shopped at Square. If you are still wondering what the hype is about and you are skeptical about it, also comment there. 
So last and not least, what is the government perception about the tennis square? So sometimes you know you can send your woman back to school to study so that she can get a better job and you do and she gets a better job and then she gets a higher salary and then she starts earning more than you and the kids stop asking you for stuff and now the provider heart doesn't rest so well on your head anymore and you don't know how to feel about it. Well, anyway, that may be how the government or some political leaders feel about China Square. But according to Charlie, he has followed the due process. He has followed every legal process uh, that any trader or foreigner would go through while establishing a trade in Kenya. So if you want to know about the what the government is saying, one of them being Moses Kuria, Mr. Moses Kuria then follow me and the video will be and the video will be up on Thursday at ten about what the government feels about tennis. Not really the government but how some political leaders feel about tennis square. This is not just limited to political leaders but also to businesses because this is major competition and frankly no one wants competition that is ruffling their feathers. That is this much because if you are to lower your prices too much them then I don't know if you'd survive the market. So let's see how this plays out. But the best part is that they're going to trigger price wars which may will in return and make prices fairer to consumers at the long run and we are here for it. That will be it for this video. Kindly follow, subscribe and hit the notification button and I'll see you on the next one.